Today I have something cute for y'all. It's Commander Geist's Elite Dangerous Valentine's Day Special. Now those of you commanders with significant others are hopefully enjoying your time together in real life, commercial holidays aside. But assuming in addition to that you want somewhere romantic to go in Elite Dangerous, Geist has you covered. I don't know, maybe you're in a long distance relationship, or maybe the closest thing you have to a girlfriend is your ship, or maybe you just like to see pretty sights in Elite Dangerous. You don't have to justify yourself to me, but whatever the case may be, here's my top makeout spots in the galaxy. <laughs> the list of romantic locations in Elite Dangerous is actually quite long, but I've chosen my top three that I feel are the most valentiny. To help generate this list, I made the always wise decision to ask Reddit for help. Most replies just seemed concerned that I didn't have anything in real life to do with my girlfriend, because I totally have one to several girlfriends in real life. <coughs> named named Haley. She's just too busy on our farm in Stardew Valley to join me in a video right now. First up, we have the Heart Nebula and the Soul Nebula. You can see both of these nebulae. Is it nebulae or nebulas? I think it actually is nebulas. But having two fantastic and famous nebulas right next to each other like this is a treat and definitely worth a visit, whether it's Valentine's Day or not. But let's stop looking at them from afar and go ahead and shoot through them both. While you're inside the bright crimson heart nebula, it feels like you're inside a beating heart itself. I'm kidding, it just looks like a bunch of red blotches. But pretty dope looking red blotches. Shades of red and orange are certainly my favorite nebula colors. You ready for a pasty makeout sesh yet? I know. <laughs> and right there you can see the soul nebula, just waiting on the horizon. And let's head there next. And as it turns out, inside the soul nebula sucks. Next up we have the system of HR6164. This system serves as an explorer's theme park filled with fantastic sights everywhere you turn. Neutron stars, black holes, giant stars, beautiful planets, you name it. But the reason why it's on this list is because of a site known as The View. The View is a certain landing spot on the planet ABC1. From a special spot on this planet, you get a beautiful view of not only the planet's rings, but also of the black holes, the neutron star, and the O-class star off on the horizon. It's a whole lot of astronomy to take in, but aside from being one of the best Best views in the entire game, this site isn't too far out from the bubble, and the planet is bright pink. I mean, what more do you need for Valentine's Day? Lastly, we come to my favorite Valentine's Day spot, the aptly named Cupid's Arrow of the NGC 7822 Nebula. By all rights, this is one of the coolest nebulas in the game, but it's punctuated with a series of Class O stars ripping through it like an arrow. The nebula's shape alone already looks like an arrow ripping through a heart, but the O-class stars really add to this effect. In fact, you can follow those stars all the way through the nebula itself and turn your own ship into an arrowhead. In fact, let's do that right now. Welcome to the first stop, the rearmost O-class star in the back of the arrow. There's actually a tourist beacon back here somewhere. Here's the Cupid's Arrow tourist beacon. Let's see what it says. 617134, better known as the gate to the beautiful NGC 7822 Nebula, is a famous system among lovers and the premier place to spend a honeymoon. What did I tell you? Why? The beautiful NGC 7822 Nebula is pierced by a line of O-stars. Therefore, it has been compared to Cupid's Arrow piercing a heart. Approaching this nebula is an experience in its own. With each jump, the bright band of O-stars becomes clearer and clearer, as well as the nebula that unfolds its colorful beauty. Once arrived, this area is filled with black holes and vibrant stars. Yada yada yada. You can actually follow all of these O-class stars all the way through the nebula. Near the center of the nebula, I think I just found a pink planet orbiting a pink star or a pink L-dwarf. So I have to check this out. This might be perfect. Oh my god, there's two of them in co-orbit, like a pair of lovers. They're like pink, one's pink and white and one's like pink and violet. This planet is super pink. It's perfect. And I love how it has that purplish planet on the horizon, not to mention the bright pink Eldwarf above us. It almost looks edible, like sherbet or cotton candy. And there's even life down here. Let's go check out one of the geological sites too. Look at this. Just look at this. 
If you don't think this is cool, then fuck you. Geosite selected, dropping from orbital cruise. And here we have some elephant trunk steam vents. Silica vapor firmoils, I should say. So, uh, does this feel like Valentine's Day yet? After following the O-class stars the rest of the way through the nebula, I came to the beautiful sight of two black holes devouring a star. It looks like a water or oil painting. Damn, I'd hate to be that star, though. Satisfied with my Valentine's Day adventures, I came to rest at Gorgon Research, the only landable base near Cupid's Arrow. I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day, and 07, Commanders.